as you saw in the lesson on restaurant service, the service in any dining environment needs to be completely flawless and efficient in order to meet and exceed our guests' expectations. Breakfast service is no exception. This is possibly the meal that most of your guests will enjoy at your establishment, which makes breakfast truly the most important meal of the day. Not only will you give your guests a great start to their day, but if you provide a fantastic service at breakfast, guests are more likely to join you for lunch and dinner. After the arrival and prompt seating, ensure that your guest is comfortable. Then offer tea or coffee within one minute of seating. If juice is served as opposed to being on a buffet, you need to offer the guest juice at this stage as well. The guest's drink order should take no longer than three minutes from the time the order was made. Even if the juice is served on the buffet, when you take your guest's tea or coffee order, it's fantastic to offer them juice as well and then fetch it from the buffet and bring it to the table so that your guests can relax with a drink while dreaming of what they're going to enjoy from the delicious buffet. When taking a guest's order, you need to show great menu knowledge. This includes the ingredients used and any particular preparation methods. If a guest asks you questions about a dish and you don't know, you may come across as badly prepared and unprofessional, so ensure that you know the menu for each service as well. If it arises that a guest requests something that is not on the menu, you may need to talk to the kitchen and try to accommodate their request as best as possible. If you are unable to accommodate their request, be sure to let the guest know and suggest another dish that could meet the requirements. At any meal service, we need to take note of exactly how the guest would like their dish prepared. Specific points, such as cooking instructions and variations on accompaniments, need to be noted and passed on to the kitchen. At breakfast, in particular, you need to establish whether guests would like hot or cold milk with their coffee or tea, and also their preference for toast. Also, we will need to take note of how they like their eggs prepared. The dishes that guests are most likely to order off the menu during breakfast are hot dishes like omelettes, scrambled eggs, and a full English breakfast. No matter what type of eggs the guest order, one of the most common mistakes is that guests will place an eggs order and then assume that you will bring toast with the order. So, when you do bring their eggs to the table and you don't have toast, the guest will then have to order toast on top of it leaving their egg dish to get cold while they wait for their toast. So we really need to think ahead here. At all times when taking an eggs order, ask the guest if they would like toast, what type of bread they would like, and prepare it to be brought out exactly the same time as their eggs order. Once the guest order has been taken, you need to ensure that the correct and complete breakfast order is presented to the guest within 10 minutes from the time it was ordered. If, however, you know that preparation times may be slightly longer, this needs to be communicated to the guest so that they know exactly what to expect in terms of the delay because of the specialty order. Ask the guest whether they would like any condiments with their breakfast, such as brown sauce, ketchup, or ground pepper, or other appropriate condiments. These condiments need to be decanted or served in miniature bottles never in their original bottles. Large commercial bottles look inelegant and often take up too much space on the table. If your guest began breakfast with a portion of fruit or perhaps cereal, the cutlery needs to be replaced as required for further dishes that the guest might enjoy for breakfast. Once it is clear that a guest has finished their meal, the dishes need to be cleared within three minutes of all of the guests at a table finishing their dish or as required during the meal. The coffee, tea or juice needs to be replenished as required and you need to offer the guest a clean cup or glass when a refill or fresh pot is requested. If another tea or coffee is ordered, you need to bring a fresh pot. It's not acceptable just to fill the same cup as used before 
with more of the requested beverage. Guests will often be at different stages of their dining experience. However, you need to pay attention and walk around the room to ensure that all of your guests are happy with their meal or drinks, or that you are just generally checking to see if everything is to their satisfaction. As with all services, only present the bill when it is requested by the guest. This way the guest will not be made to feel that you are rushing them out of your establishment. However, always ensure that you are attentive enough to notice when the guest would like the bill without having the guest wait too long to ask for it. Once the guest has requested the bill, it needs to be presented promptly in a clean bill fold and always remember to include your hotel branded pen. The bill always needs to be 100% correct and clearly itemized, so always be sure to double check it and then check it one more time before presenting it to the guest. Be sure to collect it promptly from the guest as soon as you see that they are ready to pay or leave. The guest should not have to look for you or ask your colleague to find you as this will waste their time and is not professional. Whether at breakfast, lunch or dinner, the buffet is a setup that allows for the display and presentation of all different foods. This allows guests to interact with the chefs and choose dishes that they feel will satisfy their needs. Therefore, the presentation is vitally important. The buffet needs to be clean, presented in the most attractive way, well laid out with an appropriate and logical flow. This is important as one needs to walk from one end of the buffet to the other and feel as though the order of food items makes sense. This means that all salad items need to be grouped together and starters, meats and desserts should all be grouped separately. Starters and salads should be on the one end and desserts on the other end. All the food items need to be sufficiently covered, especially in the case of outdoor events and in areas where wild animals, such as monkeys or birds, might steal some of the food. This will also prevent debris and other small items from falling into the dishes and causing the dish to be spoiled. If a guest spots something in the dish and brings it to your attention, thank the guest for pointing it out, remove the dish from the buffet and replenish it with a fresh, new dish. Every item on the buffet, especially if it is a food or beverage that is not easily identifiable, needs to be clearly labelled on clean labels that are uniform in appearance. This ensures that there is no confusion as to what the dish is, eliminating the chance of a guest taking something that they do not particularly like or are allergic to or that is against their religious beliefs. Be sure to be available and know all the items on the buffet if the guest happens to have any questions about a certain dish. Assist where possible. You should be able to make recommendations for the guests, especially if you are serving local delicacies that they may not know or they might be allergic to or are against their religious beliefs. If a dish runs low and there are still sufficient guests dining at the buffet, the dishes need to be replenished as required. This makes the guests feel well looked after and not as though they have arrived at the end of the buffet and there is not enough food. This is unacceptable. If a guest brings it to your attention before you see the finished dish, thank the guest for making you aware of the situation. Give them an estimated time for when the dish will be replaced and return with a fresh, new dish of the same item along with a portion of the new food item taken to the guest's table. Every buffet and each item on the buffet needs to have appropriate cutlery and service utensils available. There should be no sharing of utensils for different dishes as this can affect the dishes in terms of taste and appearance. If the buffet has hot dishes available, warm plates must be available too and the cook must always offer one for the guest to use. This is important because if the guest uses a cold plate and places a hot spoon of stew or vegetable bake on this cold plate, 
it will make the food go colder much quicker. It is therefore vitally important that there is a cook present behind the buffet at all times, especially in the cases where a working station is present. They can make recommendations and assist guests with any questions that they may have regarding ingredients, preparation methods, specific cooking requirements and special requests. The food should always be fresh, full of flavour, cooked as requested and served at the correct temperature. This is important because if the food is not fresh or the temperature is incorrect, the dish will taste different than it was intended and the guest will be very disappointed. The food should be presented in an appealing manner and should directly resemble its description from the menu. If it does not, the guest will be very disappointed that their expectations weren't met. The coffee and tea selection should always be served hot, fresh and appropriately brewed. Many guests are very specific about their coffee and tea and will be very disappointed if they don't get what they expect from a high quality establishment. In-room dining is a great convenience for our guests. But just because we serve our guests in the privacy of their own room, it doesn't mean that we leave any of our high service standards behind. When the telephone rings in the in-room dining service, it should always be answered within three rings or 10 seconds with an appropriate greeting. We do this so that the guest's time is never wasted and so that they know exactly who they are talking to immediately. If you ever need to put the guest on hold during your room service conversation, this should never exceed 30 seconds as it wastes the guest's time and makes a bad impression. They might even hang up the phone and decide that they would rather not place room service if we leave them on there too long. If for some reason this could not be avoided, you do need to apologize sincerely to your guest and handle their request as swiftly and politely as possible. The room service department can often be quite a loud place if people are preparing orders. So it is important when answering the telephone that there are no noises or disturbances that are affecting the conversation. Any loud noises or phones ringing could influence the way in which you interact with your guest. They may get frustrated that they can't hear you. And it can also keep you from hearing the guest, which could compromise the high standard of service that you want to deliver. If you answer the phone and the background noise becomes very distracting, you must apologize to the guest and move to a quieter area where you can handle or return the call in peace. Great service means understanding your menu knowledge. You will be asked questions by your guests regarding the menu. If you cannot answer these questions, you may have to check with the restaurant or the food and beverage manager and this will waste the guest's time. Make sure you go through your menu and understand everything so that you can offer great answers to guest questions and really well-guided recommendations. When taking an order, always obtain a full and complete order, which includes cooking instructions, accompaniments, and any other special requests that the guest may have. If you realize you've left something out and you don't get a complete order, you'll either have to call the guest back to get more details, or you will serve them a meal that does not meet their expectations. If the guest has any reasonable off-menu requests, you should always try to accommodate them. This will show extra special care that the guest will greatly appreciate. 
If the guest ordered a hot or cold dessert like ice cream, you should offer the guest the option of serving it upon completion of the main course. This is great proactive service and thinking ahead because if the guest receives their dessert at the same time as their main course, they may end up having to eat a cold hot dessert or a melted cold dessert. So getting the timing right is a great way of thinking ahead. At the end of the call, you should repeat the order to ensure that all of the details are correct and that nothing has been left out or misunderstood. Also, advise the guest on the delivery time so that they know exactly when to expect their meal. In the case of digital orders, for example via iPad or the television, the facility must be easy to use and the guest must receive the correct order on time. Let's look at in-room dining service. When serving guests in their rooms, the order should be served in the standard time. This means that if they filled in a breakfast order card, it should be served within 5 minutes of the requested time. And for telephone orders, for breakfast, lunch or dinner, the meal should be served within 30 minutes of the call. Guests should not be left waiting for their food as their time is precious and they will be disappointed if it is wasted. If the guest's meal does arrive late, apologize to the guest and offer them a complimentary service that will appropriately make up for the time wasted. When serving the guest's meal, remember to knock on the door or ring the bell and if required, wait for 10 seconds and then knock on the door again before entering the room. The guest might not have heard you the first time and it is inappropriate to open the guest's door without being sure they are ready for you. If a newspaper is on the door, you should bring it in with the tray or the trolley. Ask the guest where they would like the tray or trolley to be placed. For example, the guest might want the trolley to be placed near the window, but because you didn't ask, you may place it in the middle of the room. This would mean that the guest would have to move it themselves, which is not ideal. This should never happen, and by being aware of the guest's needs and asking the guest where they would like the tray or trolley, it will not happen. Set the table and, if applicable, open and secure the trolley. Position the chairs accordingly and offer to pour the beverages. Even though the guest is dining in their room, you should still serve them as if they are in the restaurant. Excellent, personalized service. You should confirm the order and check that it was correct and complete. If there is not a tray removal card, inform the guest of your tray or trolley collection procedures. Then you will be ready to present them with the bill. The bill should be clearly itemized and correct and should be provided in a clean bill fold with a hotel branded pen. The bill should be handled in a very professional manner. If mistakes are made, it could be costly for the guest or the establishment. And also, mistakes with the bill can ruin the guest's experience by leaving them with a bad impression. Be sure to collect it promptly from the guest as soon as you see that they are ready to pay or leave. The guest should not have to look for you or ask your colleague to find you, as this will waste their time and is not professional. If the guest requested trolley or tray removal, be sure to complete the request and collect the trolley or tray within 10 minutes for urban hotels or 15 minutes for resort establishments. This ensures that the guest area is also kept looking tidy and does not inconvenience the guest by having to call again with the same request. This is the last impression that the guest will have of the in-room dining facility. So you want to make sure that it is a positive one.
The tray or trolley that we use for in-room dining should always be clean and in good repair. And the tablecloth, placemat and serviette should be clean, pressed and free of any stains or tears. Paper serviettes look untidy and are not acceptable. If any of the items are in disrepair, the guest will assume that the food will also be unhygienic and that it was made carelessly. If the guest points out a dirty or torn serviette, apologize and replace the serviette immediately with a clean serviette that is in good repair. You should always provide the guest with the correct cutlery, crockery and glassware when you set up the trolley. And it should be based on what the guest has ordered. That means that if the guest ordered soup, they should be provided with a soup spoon. And then if they ordered a steak as the next course, they should have a steak knife and fork. Without the appropriate cutlery, guests will struggle with their meal and they will not enjoy their dining experience at all. If the guest points out that they do not have the correct cutlery, apologize sincerely and rush to immediately bring them the appropriate pieces of cutlery up on a tray. This just shows how important it is to get it right when you are setting up your tray or trolley in the first place. If you have offered bread, there should always be butter too, and it should be rolled or cut, fresh and very well presented. Salt and pepper cruets should also be available and should be clean and full. Ideally, there should also be a fresh floral or other table decoration on the trolley or tray to bring a touch of nature into the room service experience. You should not, however, keep food items in any plastic, paper or foil wrapping. This should always be removed before delivery to the guest as it doesn't look presentable and the guest might conclude that their food is not fresh. You should always serve the guest the appropriate condiments with the meal and they should either be decanted into the appropriate dishes or served in miniature form. Finally, when serving coffee or tea, you should offer the guest milk or cream and a full sugar selection, that is white and brown sugar as well as sweetener. These must all be available on the trolley or tray. In the case of breakfast, a minimum of three different preserves should also be provided on the setup. Honey is also acceptable. Remember that all guests have different preferences and you should cater to those preferences to ensure that all of your guests enjoy their in-room dining experience. Offer them service with care, with respect for the fact that you are serving them in the privacy of their own room and they are sure to have a fantastic in-room dining experience.